Hey guys and girls, welcome back to a, another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. Hey guys and girls, doing? Today, we're going to be talking about um, input and just some simple, doing some simple operations with input because last video we talked about output. So this is the code from the last video. We included a library. We talked about the main function. Uh, we talked about left to right and down, how the program reads the code, the printing out. How we did that and system pause was good because we paused uh, paused the program so it didn't just quit after all this happened so we could actually read this now we're gonna make a new file because I'm gonna do that I'm gonna make a new file for each example or tutorial I'll call it tutorial instead so you just rename them tutorial zero and then we'll add a new item CPP file and you can call it whatever you want actually but I'll call it to tutorial 2 or 1 actually 1 just like that add so we have a new file right so this is also a good thing to know when you have a bunch of files in the same project all right only there can only be one main function so if I have this main function active and I make another main function here int whoops what the hell just happened dude okay int main and I hope you remember how to write this return zero this is gonna not work because include remember to include io stream like we talked about in the last video uh, this is not gonna work because it's gonna find two main functions and remember you can't have two bodies right you can just have one body and one program so what you want to do after each thing is you just want to select all of this and you want to go to this button here comment out selected lines so you just comment out everything and a comment I think I forgot to talk about it is something that you can't I mean something that the computer doesn't really care about uh, it won't like do anything with this so anything that's green like this and comment it out with two of these uh, won't be in your program so you can just write whatever you want so just select all that if that doesn't work you can do this you can just press down here or up here press shift and alt together and your down arrow so you'll go down like this all the way and then you make two uh, to dashes I think that is slashes or dashes whatever just like that so there you go now this main function will be the only one the only active one so okay let's get to the tutorial we included IO stream because C out and C in requires IO stream we did not include we did not do this using namespace STD right we didn't do that because we don't want to really do that uh, it could cause errors in the future like we talked about uh, but let's just go ahead and start coding so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the last video I'm gonna type something out so we're gonna say please type a name just like that and then we're just gonna not make a new line we're just gonna end it right there and then here's the beautiful thing stdc in means something in right c in so it's going to be in from the keyboard to the computer while c out is out so it's from the computer to the screen so we're going to see in and then we use the input operator i think it's called uh this one the other way around this is really important and we're going to say type a name right so we're, we have to make a a uh, variable here well, let's type, type a, a number. Let's just say number. Let's start off with that. So we're going to talk about variables as well. Um, and this variable is just going to be an integer. Well, let's call it age equals zero from the start. Now, we'll talk about uh, variables in the next video a little more in detail. But this is a integer value. It can only hold a number. So think of this as a box, right? And a box with a specific shape. You can only fit the same shapes into this box. So this box can hold one shape of a specific type and that is an integer. So this is the type. This is the name of the variable. You can name it whatever you want. This is how you access it later. So you know how, how you might have a box full of stuff in your attic and you'd name it? That's it. So so you kind of have the name. You, you reference to that. From this with this name and then equals to means we want to give it a value it goes from right to left always the equal sign so whatever is right of the equal sign will go into whatever is on the left so we can't do int zero equals age you can't do that that's the other way around right so int age equals zero 
So we don't have an age from the start. This is called initializing a variable as well. So when it starts off with a value, you could do this. It doesn't have a value from start, but I, I don't like that. I like this is good practice doing this. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, now, remember from left to right and down. So we create a variable, we go down, this is going to be printed out and then we're going to get something where, where we're going to be able to type a name or an age. So we'll just say age here, our variable that we created. We'll put something into it from the keyboard and then we'll make another C out call when all that is done and we'll say the age is and then age. This might be going too fast, I'm sorry, but we talked about this before. We, this is a stream. So a stream, the stream, uh, the output operator, we give it a string a literal here. So this is going to be typed out to the screen. And then we say, okay, we just want to break it here and we want to give the stream something else. So we're typing in age here. We're giving it the integer value to print out. And it's like, okay and that so the integer value has been printed out and i also want to give it a new line so you're putting kind of fragmenting the stream making it into pieces and, and putting it all together so you can't do this you can't remove these and be like okay i want to print all this stuff out all right in case you want to switch type or whatever you want to call it so you have to kind of split it up depending on if you want a string and then an integer and then some other variable and so on and so on uh, I, I really hope i explained that in a good way but okay so that's it and the system pause my dudes and girls there you go let's see if this works so what's gonna happen is we're gonna get a i don't know why this keeps changing dude uh font okay here we go please type a number so where are we so it created a variable please type a number this line here and then it's asking us for the age. So it's waiting here. See, it's waiting. So we're going to say 20. Age is 20. So it went in here. Age is 20. And then a new line. And then press any key to continue. And the system pause helps us stay there. So you see how that kind of works up and down. And let me just say one more thing about variables. A variable is called... Is, is, it can vary that's why it's called a variable you can change its value whenever you want but you cannot change its type and we'll talk about this in the next video so i can't do age equals a string now or some other type of variable it can't hold anything else but a number it can't even hold a number with a decimal like this 0.6 it can't do that it needs a whole number if you do this it's going to cut away the 0.6 completely you won't even care about it so it can hold a whole number, but you can change it whenever you want. You can you can do whatever. If I write age 22, look at this. So I know this tutorial isn't about numbers, but let me just show you. It's if I if I say two, it's still gonna say 22 here on the other line because I changed it here. After I inputted it, I changed it. So just remember that for the next video. We'll talk about. We'll go through it again in detail. Uh, so yeah, that's input. And let me let me show you something else. Let's make age in monies monies cash monies we'll say the person has zero cash monies so we want to input an age and monies so there are a few different ways to do this now remember this is also a stream just like this and we can split it up so you can split this up as well so please type a number an age and how much cash monies monies so we're going to say age. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can copy paste this, obviously, and say uh, monies, just like that. And then we'll ages, uh, money is, now this isn't really good grammar, but whatever. Monies, new line. So I hope you're following me on how I'm splitting this up. So whenever I want to switch type, I have to give it. The operator so monies switch string string switch you don't really have to switch here i could i could remove this and just make it in the same one just like that but it looks better so i i kind of split it up whatever so these are two ways uh let me just try this 
so it's gonna it's gonna say please type an age and how much money so age 20 and it's still waiting money's two thousand dollars so i get 20 20 age and two thousand monies press any key to continue boom another way you could do this is this you can split it up just like the the input stream so sin age and monies in one stream so then it's gonna wait i'll say 23 still waiting uh 5000 some rich dude boom easy see ask me how much and then it prints it out so try to study this this is input in a simple way there are a lot more ways you can do input uh with get line and, and other functions but we'll get to that in the future but for now this is just basic input with c in we'll go to get line and other things once we go through uh variables in the next video uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys and girls. I hope this helped. Um, remember to comment out the old main function and everything for this to work. Otherwise, it's going to give you an error, which is... I can show you the error. I think it says, yeah, it's just like something, some linker fatal error. One or more multiply defined, multiply defined symbols found, blah, 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 some crazy shit right now. So, yeah. You probably don't want that. Uh, so just comment that out. Boom. And comment this out when you're done as well for the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Take care. Best of luck. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right? Bye-bye.